So this is the start of the boot sequence. Um, you can see the console coming up on the screen, so I can enter the username and password. Uh, log in as normal. This is after the screen has already been set up, as you can see from the Andy Pye instructions. Uh, so I just want to show you three things to start with, what the screen uh, can do. So let's start with uh, something from Pygame. So this is uh, just a simple Python script using the Pygame module so you can create uh, shapes and draw, draw them on the screen. So this is just something, very simple example that I just uh, quickly knocked up. And then secondly we'll have a look at a video. So this is an MP4 video playing with mPlayer. Um, it's been resized already to fit um, onto the screen. You can um, change the size on the fly, but the Raspberry Pi doesn't really handle it. Um, I haven't actually got any speakers plugged in, so you can't hear the sound from this, um, but you get the uh, idea of what's happening. So let's stop that and try another one. This is using FBI, an image viewer, and we've set it just to uh, scroll through every two seconds, looking at all the pictures in the directory. So you can see it looks pretty good. Yeah, so there's three options. Actually, there is just one other thing that I want to show you, which is uh, the fact that you can uh, use X Windows uh, on the screen as well. I haven't got a mouse plugged in, so there's not a huge amount I can do with it, but it just gives you an idea that it is actually possible uh, to load it up. And you can see the, uh, the start menu and stuff. Um, yeah, so it's pretty small, but on a 320 by 240 screen, it is actually possible uh, to do something uh, that is useful. So there we go.